Hi, I'm Lucilla Vand, and I would like to show you something that I've made. For those who are not familiar with my channel, I mostly create tutorials. And in the theory sections of those tutorials, actually I have my little character to the right, and then I explain stuff on the left. How I used to animate these sections was by rendering out all the poses that I created inside of Blender. Then I would drag in those images into HitFilm. In HitFilm, I would drag them onto the timeline in the order that I wanted them to appear in. The transitions between these images was kind of boring, so I wanted to add a bit of a squash and stretch animation. But this was also the really frustrating part. Because what I had to do to create those animations was stretch out my character and then reset it after a couple of frames. Then I had to select the position and scale and copy those properties. Then I would have to move the playhead to the exact start of the next image. And then I would have to paste those properties again. I had to do this for each clip, which is not that bad. But if you have to do it a lot of times, then it gets quite frustrating. So, uh, how do you deal with this frustration? By creating an entire piece of software inside of a game engine. That's right, <laughs> let's get started. Inside of Blender, I exported my character as a GLTF. And then I threw it into Godot, which worked flawlessly, sort of. I needed to tweak some things about the textures. First I had to replace the embedded texture, because it was acting weird. And then I need to check the transparent and unshaded tags, which is so nice to have inside of Godot, instead of having to apply a different shader material. I'm not calling out anything in particular, but it's definitely Unity. And then I just needed to disable the filtering and disable the texture compression. I did that for all the other materials, and there we go, I am now inside of Guido. I added a green background for easy green screen keying, and I've added buttons to play the different pose animations. I can hold shift to play a stretch animation and hold alt to do a squash animation. Now that those basic features are in there, it's time to add some cool stuff. Let's make my character blink. My three model consists out of several different objects. For example, I have a separate object for the mouth and a separate object for the eyes. The UVs of these objects are mapped to this sprite sheet over here, which contains a bunch of different expressions for the mouth and for the eyes. I can change the expression by snapping the UVs to different spots on the sprite sheet. These UV changes can't really be exported through animations, so I created a custom shader inside of Guido. This shader is really quite simple. It contains the texture with all the mouth shapes, then an X and Y position on the sprite sheet, and a mouth count, which is how many mouth there are on the rows and columns. On this next line, I have a variable called mouth count scaled, which is one divided by the mouth count. So UV coordinates go from 0 to 1 on the X and Y axis. If we divide that up by 4, we get 0.25 which is the increment we need to take to step to the next mouth sprite. In code, we can do that very easily by taking that 0.25 value that we created and then multiplying it by the index. Then we just reapply the texture with the regular UVs plus that offset that we created. And we also do that for the alpha values. Now on the shader parameters, we can just adjust the index values to get a different mouth sprite. I've done the same for the eyes and I've added a little checkbox in the shader for blinking. I can then get a reference to that shader and set the parameter of blink and hook it up to a timer and then my character blinks, yay! <laughs> so blinking is cool, but let's keep going. Let's add even more cool stuff. I wanted to add a bit of extra movement to the character, so I thought it would be interesting to add some form of lip syncing. To do that, I needed a way to get microphone inputs. And from that input, I needed to grab 
specific frequencies and match the correct mouth sprite to that. For microphone inputs, all you really need is an audio stream player and an audio stream microphone resource. This resource grabs the default microphone that's set on your computer. Then I also needed to set the audio bus. I've set the audio bus to a new bus that I created called Mic. You can create and edit audio buses in the audio tab at the bottom here. There are probably quite a few of you who've never used this tab, but believe me, it's pretty cool. You can apply a ton of different effects. In here, I've added the spectrum analyzer effect, which lets me, well, analyze the spectrum. I've used this audio visualizer tutorial by Gonki to learn about how the spectrum analyzer effect works. Check out his new channel where he creates a bunch of really cool stuff and also some really cursed stuff. <laughs> so I implemented the audio visualizer and I use it to implement vowel recognition in a bit of a janky way. To recognize vowels in a voice, we have to look at the frequencies. The first peak is the root note and then there are two other peaks which are called the formants. These characterize vowels. Please correct me if I'm wrong. So in code, I just check for those peaks at different frequencies for different vowels. Uh, e, o, s. The letter S is really easy to recognize because it's just air moving through your mouth, creating white noise. So this is the final product. All I have to do is press these buttons to change my expression. It's probably going to take me a little bit of time to get used to pressing these buttons while I'm talking. But when I record this with OBS, I can just drag the footage into his film, then slap a green screen key on it, and then mask it so I can easily use different backgrounds behind my character. Is this really faster than the old way? Mm, is it cooler? Oh yeah! I hope you enjoyed this behind the scenes look at the content that I create. If you'd like to see more videos like this, consider supporting me on Patreon, like this handsome fella. I will see you next time. Lucy out.